Congratulations on your nomination. Thank you. Uh, you are a friend. You are a man of integrity. You and I have worked closely together on this committee, on the Armed Services Committee, and I have every confidence you are going to make a superb Attorney General. You know, this has been an interesting day at this hearing, listening to Democratic Senator after Democratic Senator give speeches in praise of the rule of law. Uh, and I am heartened by that. I am encouraged by that. Because for eight years, it's been absent. For eight years, we've seen a Department of Justice consistently disregarding the rule of law. When Eric Holder's Department of Justice allowed illegal gun transactions, illegally sold guns to Mexican gun traffickers as part of Fast and Furious, guns that were later used to murder Border Patrol agent Brian Terry, the Democratic members of this committee were silent. When Eric Holder was found in contempt of Congress for refusing to cooperate with Congress's investigation into Fast and Furious, once again, the Democratic members of this committee were silent. When the IRS illegally targeted United States citizens for exercising the First Amendment views for exercising their, their roles in the political process, Democratic members of this committee were silent. When the Department of Justice refused to fairly investigate the IRS targeting citizens and indeed assigned the investigation to a liberal partisan Democrat who had given over $6,000 to President Obama and Democrats, Democrats on this committee were silent. When numerous members of this committee called on the Attorney General to appoint a special prosecutor to ensure that justice was done in the IRS case, Democrats on this committee... Everybody's always blaming me for everything. All the boys for Trump, yelling mega. All the girls for Trump, yelling mega. All the veterans for Trump, yelling mega. Stand up, get the mega, yelling louder. Make America great again. Make America great again.